all right happy mother's day everybody yeah this is the day that the lord has made that we will rejoice and be glad in it happy mother's day to every mother out there that is on this platform it's such an awesome day i have different uh, messages that people have sent on this mother's day and i am so grateful to read some of them to you uh, as i um, transition some says happy mother's day to the world you are a mother but to your family you are the world and that is awesome that was sent to me by Caroline and then um, uh, let me see what my son sent to me he said happy mother's day may the almighty father bless you with more age strength mommy may all your dreams be in reality and she said mommy say amen so I say amen son and let me see what some people have sent to me my daughter Rosemary she say happy Mother's Day to you wow I'm so happy for you mommy and she's thanking God for the radio station that we have been able to launch uh, in Ghana uh, we will celebrate it we will find a good day to really really um, uh, make a big a big noise on it on Facebook and everything so those of you who are with me sorry I'm something is bothering my eye so my son Kobi say happy my happy Mother's Day to you to a wonderful mother like you may you continue to hold the fort and keep the fight why it is day may the Almighty bless you you are all you are all very special so that's that's uh, mother's day messages that i am getting from uh my family members and uh kojo kojo said if someone nipples has ever been in your mouth you own them a mother's day presence which is absolutely true and he says happy mother's day thank you kojo and then um, we just keep going and i'm trying to read a couple of uh, mother's day before we go on the program okay so we got some couple of mother's day messages uh, for us for today and i'm proud to be a mother and i believe every mother out there should be proud of being a mother we are going to go on to discuss our our topic that we have been a series of this thing concerning watch your mouth uh, platform we've been discussing about words how important words are and mother's day is is appropriate for us to look into this subject by dealing with what what to watch your mouth and all the series which we're going to post it on facebook and i just want to announce to every one of you that we have been blessed tremendously blessed to uh air the radio station uh this radio station has been on on, on uh <laughs> and work for quite some time and uh, just recently the lord blessed me to meet a wonderful son of mine i have adopted him and uh, his name is felix they will promise i think yeah if I, if I got his name right forgive me flex and he is awesome he came on the phone uh, he came on the uh radio station and put the radio station together and when she 
when he finished, we have been able to hear God, what God has done. I know so many radio stations I've worked in the past that did everything they could to get access into these websites and, and compete on the world platform. Well, we were blessed that um, we were immediately after we set up the radio station has access to be to be airing in this radio station mytuning.com which is owned by Felix himself our radio is in his platform anybody goes to tuning mytuning.com in Ghana or around the world you you will get to agape radio and I found out that Agape Radio with a H is such an outstanding radio station. So I'm very, very proud of your support and everything that you have given to me to put this radio station, to take to take control over the air. Uh, if you go to audio, audio radio, audio RAM, uh, which is run by the largest radio stations around the world and is well out there that is international level it's called audio ram anywhere you are in the world if you google audio ram.com you will and then you you just uh, select agape radio it will pop out so that is the highest international uh, level where this radio station is running or, or streaming right now and the most hardest place you can get your radio station to register in Ghana is modern Ghana. And guess what? Agape is running there. The last time I checked, we had 52 hits just under 24 hours. We have got 52 hits. And I know we are going to grow on a daily basis because I am campaigning serious for people. So people, watch your mouth. We are trending very well. And next week, by the grace of God, I will be, I will start airing on YouTube uh, and also Facebook and instagram if we can get all those access together and guess what we are going live and then we will also go to youtube and make sure that those of you who have comments and want to come live we can broadcast live and talk about very serious issues okay there are issues there are issues at hand that we need to address right now and that is words so many people throwing words around and think it's okay. It's not okay. You got to watch what you say. The very, very important thing I want to. So I just want to shout out to all my girls and boys and sisters and brothers out there. Thank you. We made it. We made it to the top. And let's keep on pressing on. Let's keep on going forward. Let's keep on teaching. Let's keep on uplifting our spirit because we have something to give. So I just want to shout out, hi, hello, everybody. And let's get into the word. Let's have a word of prayer before we go into the world. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We we'll bless every mother all over the world. We thank you, Father. We, have, we wish you Happy Mother's Day, God Almighty, because you are the greatest mother in the whole universe. According to Psalm 27, verse 10, where your mom and dad forsake you, God is your source. Because you are the first mother that you gave birth to all of us. And we also thank Mother Ed, who has sustained every child that has been given birth to. We praise your holy name for this wonderful and precious gift that you have given to us will bless you as we get into your word may your holy spirit fill our heart fill our mind fill our soul give us something substance today 
and we'll be very careful to give you praise and thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. So, watch your mouth. Hi. So we're gonna we're gonna have a, a website. I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna think about the name. So, on my other teachings, I was teaching about words and uh, I let know that there is a law of confession that exists in the word of God in the universe and in so many things and every time you can predict what is going to happen every time every time you can it becomes a law what happened is we have not made the connections between what we say and what we get in the life with what we have. And that's the reason why we don't understand the dynamics and the magnitude of the words we speak. If we have been able to connect it and see the results in our lives and have pay attention to it, we will be very careful what we say and what what we say th when we say things we will be very careful and we will listen to what we say so now you have been speaking life or you have been speaking death to yourself and and let me let me let me stop here and emphasize something here very critical sometimes people think it is somebody that is doing them or somebody that is bewitching them well let me tell you today nobody is bewitching you the person who is bewitching you is yourself because every day you hear yourself speaking things more than anybody can speak to you some of you nobody can even speak to you because you are not social and so you don't have circle where you can go and hear a lot of words or some of you you have become words collectors in other words everywhere there is something somebody saying something you want to go there and you want to go and sit and listen some of you you collect it through the tv you collect it through the media you collect it through uh soundtrack uh, music whatever Anywhere there is works is being dishing out. So you collect a lot of words. So the more the more you collect a lot of words, there is a say that faith comes, not a say, there is a scripture, a Bible word that says that in Hebrew, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God in Romans. The book of Romans, chapter 8, 17, I think, if I'm correct. The faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Well, if that is positive and is true, guess what? When you flip it, fear comes by hearing and hearing evil reports. So if what you are hearing is evil, guess what? You are accumulating demonic spirit in your environment, in your atmosphere, in everywhere you are. So it is very, very good. And it is very, very important for us to understand the principles of law. Because law is predictable. Every law is predictable. If you say it's going to happen, that's exactly what is going to happen. Because it's a law. That's simple. You can't fight it. You can't do nothing. Law of gravity. If you throw something to there, it's going to come down. Right. And so we have to understand all these dynamics and become aware of our environment and what we are saying, what we are bringing out. So when you think, when you have been thinking that, oh, I got a witch, I got a this, I got that, that is bothering me, pause today, sit back and listen to me carefully. Because it may not be what you think or what you believe. It may be that nobody 
Nobody, not a soul on the face of the earth bothering you. But it's just you. You are the cause of your own problem. You are the one that is destroying yourself. Nobody. And the day you will discover this, the day that you will understand the damage you're doing to yourself by the words that you'll be speaking and you begin to make a U-turn, repent and change your mind and change your language, your thought. That will be the epiphany time for you, a turning point of your life and everything will change when you begin to speak positive things, when you, you begin to speak life, when you begin to listen to what you say about every situation and every circumstance, then you will know that you have the power to succeed. You have the power to become a great person. So your number one enemy, the devil you've been talking about, is not the person you're thinking about. That's why you haven't got a breakthrough. Because what you are thinking is not what it is. And you've been running everywhere, going from every person meeting everywhere in the whole wide world, trying to kill or destroy the demon. And the demon is you. Unfortunately, that's the truth. You are your own demon. You are your own devil. You are your own by the words you speak. So understand this. Very, very important. A lot of you going to have, you don't need no deliverance from no prophet, nobody. You need deliverance by your own mouth, yourself. Deliver your mouth by changing your words. And when you change your words, all things will be wonderful. And this is why I want us to look into this teaching seriously. Because there is a problem out there. There is a big problem. People, a lot of people saying things and they don't know what they are creating. And then they, 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 they ascribe it to innocent people. And innocent people become victims of their own doing. Repent today and ask God for forgiveness because you're going to learn huh, that you, are, you have been duped by yourself. You have been corrupt by your own mouth. Serious. And everything. Now, every single word now, please mark this thing very, very careful. You think, and a lot, a millions of people think their words are sounds. Some think their words are noise. Oh. I'm just joking. No, there is nothing about joke when you speak words. The Bible forbid us. The Bible forbid us to throw jokes around. No, because the reason why the Bible forbid us to throw jokes around because words are spirit and you cannot joke with words. And we have formed a habit of cracking jokes, you know? And we don't know that all those things are forming something serious. My brother, I have scriptures. And when we want to discuss this issue, I can put the scriptures on the listing for you. And you look, this is a serious issue that I'm teaching. So don't go around and thinking you're cracking jokes because there's nothing like joke. Words are words. And be mindful of it. 
If you think your words are just sound, if you think your words are noise, well, I want to tell you today, you better think again. You better think again. Because I'm about to explain it on my next video. Please share this to your friend. Underneath, you will see subscribe. Please press the subscribe button and you see that bell that is on the Facebook. Click that bell that anytime we post new teaching or when we come live, you can come in and post your comments. Thank you for watching. Watch your mouth on a mother's name. Thank you. Have a good day.